Sean, we could do an on-plane backswing. We can make an on-plane downswing. We can pivot correctly. We can move with speed. But if we place this little ball in the wrong spot in our stance, there's a lot that can go wrong. That's what we're gonna show you today, where to put this ball for your best golf. All right, so let's first talk about where we see most golfers play this ball. And we're gonna talk about ball position, not only left to right, but into you and away from you. So there, there's your ball, Sean. Let's okay. see you set up to that. Yeah, okay, so I'll set up in my normal setup. Yep. So left of center, I play it a little more forward. I like to fade the ball a little yep. bit. So I play it up a little bit, my stance. Um, and I have it in a spot where I feel like I can shift and hit the ball this way. All right, where we see most golf balls played recreational golfers you know it, it's across the board but a lot of them uh, in an attempt to try to get some kind of shaft lean and trap the ball and get some compression they'll play it too far back uh, in the stance yep and we'll see actually we will see balls that start drifting back in the stance we'll see it impact entire right hips in front of the golf ball and you're not going to lean it by doing that i get the idea but it's not gonna work out because you would hit it so low and unplayable. So what you do is you shift it out in front of the ball now. Some heads will try to stay back and you're gonna do this, give it this number to get it off the ground. And it's a killer. It's a swing killer. You can do all the best intentions in the world. If that ball's in the wrong place, it's gonna affect where it goes. Yeah, you need to take a look at that almost as like a test. Like, okay, if you're playing the ball back in your stance, you're doing that because you have a problem with how the club bottoms right. out, right? So. If you put it up where it's supposed to be, and you're gonna, you can try this today if you go out to the range and hit balls, put the ball left of center in your stance with your irons and see if you can make contact. A lot of you are going to make contact back in this area, which is why you shoved the ball back in the first place. Well, a lot of golf is trying to fix one fault with another fault, and then you start to, you start to stack these faults onto one another, and then you go get a swing tip and it never works and you never get better. So we want to kind of wipe the hard drive a little bit and start with the ball in the right spot because what we know should happen in the golf swing we looked at a lot of gears right if you guys are new to the channel look at any of our videos you're going to see what actually happens in the golf swing every good player shifts forward in the golf swing you need a ball position that's ready to accommodate that if it's not if you're penalized for doing what good players do because of ball position your swing's going to come off the rails and you're not going to be very happy now let's talk about into us and away from us. So close to the ball, too far away from the ball. Yeah, I think um, in general, golfers, they squat down too much yep. and that gets their legs in the way. So they tend to get too far away from the ball. We'll see a classic is what we'll see is we'll put, we'll see golfers with vertical shins, a lot of butt behind their heels. Okay, now if I let my arms hang, you're right. My knees are in the way. So you have to stand. So now I'm away. reaching. See it all the time. See this every single day. And then the first move, and the backswing is try to find some dynamic balance. So just putting the ball away from you will take the, will take the swing off the rails. We see fewer golfers have an issue with being too close to it. Yeah, you don't see that too often. In fact, most golfers are surprised by how close the pros do stand to it. So we'll mm -hmm. talk about that here in just a second. So suffice to say that we need a good ball position from this face on view because mm -hmm. we need it to accommodate good movements. And then we need a ball position relative to forwards and back that we can stay in this dynamic posture and create space rather than trying to have to go find the ball. All right, so let's jump into gears, learn exactly where this should go, then we'll show you a couple of drills to make that happen. Let's first take a look at ball position from this down the line view. It's hard to remember the last time we had to ask a golfer to get farther away from a ball at setup, but every day it seems like we always have to ask at least one golfer to get closer to it. Here's an example of the stark difference we see between AMs and pros when it comes to ball position from this down the line view. Notice how the AM has the center of his hips behind his heels and how he has his arms hanging forward or reaching out towards the golf ball. Now this can be the chicken or the egg scenario, meaning his ball position is causing him to have these poor setup elements or it's these poor setup elements that force him to shove his ball too far away from him. In either case, it's not good and both need to change. Compare that to our pro here. The center of his hips are over his ankles and he's not reaching out to the golf ball. In fact, for two guys who are the same height, the differences here are pretty dramatic. Golfers always find it surprising to see just how close these good players stand to the ball relative to what they do or what most golfers do. 
Now let's switch things to face on. Here are two single digit amateurs who came to us because they weren't happy with how they were striking it. The golfer on the left described his impact as quote, a bit thin and flippy with a tendency for the ball to balloon. The golfer on the right described his impact as quote, not as high as it used to be. And I'm having trouble holding the greens with longer irons. The reality was both of these golfers were fighting the same issue with their ball positions. Their ball position was too far back. Now I know what you're thinking. These balls aren't back in their stances. They're right under or even in front of the center of their hips. And you're right. But what you have to keep in mind is they aren't hitting the ball from here at setup. They are hitting it here at impact. And like every good player that we've ever captured, whether it's professional or amateur, golfers shift forward from where they start at address to where they wind up at impact. They shift forward, but obviously the ball doesn't shift forward with them. So a ball position that started in the middle at setup is now back in their stance after they shift forward here at impact. That forces one of two scenarios to happen. Either you'll dump the angles early in order to get the ball up, leading to sketchy impacts like the golfer on the left, or you'll have too little loft in the club causing the shots to come out too flat with too little spin like the golfer here on the right. And the most common of those two scenarios is for golfers to dump these angles early and flip it through impact. Let's compare that to what we commonly see in pro swings. Notice how the ball starts much farther forward, more up under the left pec or up by the left shoulder. And when they shift forward in the downswing, the ball is now up there waiting for them. What you're seeing here is quite common and the very definition of covering the golf ball. The center of his hips are on the front edge of the ball, while the center of his chest is on the back edge of the ball. This ball position allows him to cover the ball while still being able to optimize his launch, the flight, and the spin to create those high launching, soft landing shots that we see on TV every weekend. Both of the AMs created that pro window frame that you see here. The difference being the AMs optimize their ball position for address instead of impact. All right, Sean, we want to get this ball dialed in. So what we have golfers do is I'll have you set up to it here at the camera, like a face on view. Okay. So we want to put the ball, all right, move your arms out of the way. We want to have the ball hanging kind of off the left peck or where most shirt logos will go in a golf shirt. Yeah. All right, so let's move the ball to where it's right there off that left peck. Okay. Okay. Now, it's one, it's going to get really weird if you're used to setting up close to it. Now this ball is up here and you're going to feel a mile away from it and you may be because you're used to creeping the ball farther back in your stance to hit it. So this is going to now encourage you to start getting your body lined up correctly. Now, once that's the case, all right, we're going to have you make uh, about a half a backswing. Okay. Okay, you're going to shift forward. No, keep the arms up there. Okay. Shift forward. Now downswing from there. Boom. Yeah. You should have no problem catching this ball first before the ground, if you do that sequence correctly. Yeah, it's back, little shift forward, swing the arms and down and kind of open the body up right. a little bit and that'll get the, the low point where it needs to be. And if you're a guy or a gal that's used to having this ball back in your stance, somewhere near the back foot, just to hit it solid, this is gonna feel very weird for you, but this is what needs to happen. It's a shift, strike it, cause I've got my mass now over top of the golf ball, I'm covering it. You're going to start to see, if you control the club face, you're going to start to see your hands forward of the ball, maybe for the first time ever. Yeah, and it's going to be a very good feeling to compress. Even if you just hit this, like I'll do one out this way, just see if I can do it correctly. So here, shift forward, just trap it, right? Yeah, you're right? just making nice little swings just to get used to orienting, orienting easy for me to say, orienting yeah. your body correctly over the golf ball. Yeah, and, and that felt like when I came in, I didn't have to try to manufacture any shafting. I was just positioned correctly with my mass over the ball, right? Yep. The face was square. I could just let this club go and it clipped the ball with the hand slightly forward then released around. That's exactly right. Now, let's talk about it into us or away from us. Okay. So let me grab another ball here sure. really quick. Now, we had a major champion in yesterday and the first question he asked was, how close should I be to the ball? Now again, yeah. major champion has won multiple times at every level he's ever played. Yeah. And he asked a very basic question. Yeah. That's where these guys are thinking. They know if they can get these small details ironed out, the golf swing starts to happen much more naturally. So what, what, what'd you tell him? Yeah, he, he actually made, had a great question. How far should his, um, his face feel like it's from the ball, right? And 
he had gotten into this habit, and we, we've worked together over the years a lot. He gets into this habit where he points his chest too high up and overbends his knees. So I told him to keep his knees fairly locked, mm -hmm. bend forward so the chest bends toward the ground till his fingertips are about at his kneecaps, and then just crack the knees and put his hands together. And he literally said he feels like his face is a foot from the ball. And it's really not. It's actually, it was perfect. Well, the first swing he made Flushed was it. right what he wanted, and it was, it was what he normally does. But every golfer gets off. So when I was... Uh, out with my last shoulder, shoulder surgery, I was invited to go do some weapons trainings with uh, a special forces guy. And it was, it was really interesting. It's the first time I ever heard the term perishable skill. And I was like, All right, you gotta explain to me what that means. Yeah. He goes, everything we take for granted when we're shooting a rifle, aim, the breathing and all that, those are all perishable skills. Meaning if you don't consistently practice them, you start to lose them. Absolutely. So you may have a great ball striking round, Ball's in the right spot. You go, okay, this is easy. I got it. It's ball position, how hard it can be. If you don't stay on top of it, the ball will start to move. You'll start to raise up like he was doing. You'll get off really quick, and you'll start to dive into these little swing faults that are really created by ball position rather than actual swing faults because this swing got a lot better the moment he got over the Absolutely. ball correctly. Absolutely. It's a whole back swing change. He said, that's what I'm trying to feel right Okay, there. so let me have your club. Okay. Let's do that again. Let's show that again. So stand straight, yep. bend forward without – shoving your butt too far back, okay. just bend forward, point your chest down, crack the knees, and make sure you bend forward enough until your fingertips are about the top of your Okay, kneecaps. so I'm gonna, you get your hands hanging down. I'm gonna put the club right in your hands, right there. Uh -huh. That's right where your ball position should be. Yeah, I like that right there. Okay, that puts me in a spot where I can turn and get some tilt to the body if I'm this way too much. Yep. I'm not bent forward, it gets me going around this way. So get used to set, yeah, it's exactly right. Get used to setting up correctly then have a friend or a buddy put the ball in front of you. Then you start to orient yourself. It's a dangerous move to go in here every time, start making adjustments over the ball because you will start to accommodate this poor ball position before you know it. your swings change for the worse. All right, so give that a try. Do these drills. Dial in the ball position. It takes no talent to set up correctly. No, no excuse for it. If you found this video helpful and you need more help with your consistency, we want to help you with that. Go to the first comment below this video. You'll see a link. It's our first pinned comment. There'll be a link in there. Click on that link. We'll take you to our number one consistency drill to help you hit the ball more solidly and more consistent every time you're out on the course.